Hi guys, this Saturday I am in Nagpur, this Sunday in Pune, next 24th January Sunday in Bangalore and next Sunday in Delhi. So in case you want to attend the workshop, please call us on any of the numbers and register for the workshop or you can directly register here on the form link as well which is given in the description box. So we are there to talk about your CAT studies, CET studies, CMAT, all the other exam, GDPI, anything you want to talk to me, you can just come over and we can have a good talk. Today we want to talk about IITs. So if you go to our link cetking.com slash IIT that's cetking.com slash IIT dot com slash IIT. I've given the complete details about the cutoffs, fees, average salary, everything is there all about IITs in that link. But today's main focus I want to do is to compare how good are IIT as compared to IIMs. So of course the moment you think of MBA the first thing that comes to the mind is of course the IIMs. Yeah. So how good IITs? Now off lately IITs have also studied that MBA program especially for the last 10 years IITs ka MBA program are also being coming up. Now today we'll take a call on how good are both when we are they compared to each other. Yeah. Of course I'm ABC you can't be compared. I'm ABC call keep separate but let's talk about the other colleges in the list here. So this is the table which I made one table which cover up everything who is eligible this and that. So today's main focus is going to be the average salary. Now I am ABC average salary is touching 25 lakh plus. Yeah. But if I look at the IIT Bombay average is 20.8 but fees is only 8.8. .8. Now if you want me to compare I can easily compare IIT Bombay with I am Lucknow. So I'm just comparing with which I'm going to compare. I am Lucknow, I am Indore, I am Koyikot. So easily we can compare IIT Bombay and IIT Delhi. Average salary is 18.5 for IIT Delhi. But fees is 9.6. So ROI's point of view, they are much better than IITs. But of course, we have to look at the brand name also. So if I compare the brand name, so they are at par. So I will count them at par with IIMs, Lucknow, Indore, Koyikot. If I go down the value chain, I, we, we have IIT Kharagpur with average salary 17, IIT Madras with average salary 12, yeah, IIT Madras will look at afterwards. So if I look at 17.4 lakh a package here, now this IIT Kharagpur, I can easily compare with I am Shillong and I am Trichy because their average is also touching around 18, 17, 16 kya ju baju hai, yeah. If I also compare with the non-IITs, non-IIT IIMs, IIT Bombay is ranked anywhere as close to IFT, XLRI, SPGen, all these colleges. Of course, fees average is le less than them, but because of the ROE factor, this is this can rub shoulder with any of them. Any day, uh, JBIMS. All right. Now, now if, if I, I further, further go down, down the chain, IIT, IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur, IIT Rurki, Dhanbad. Now, if, if I, I believe Dhanbad outside IIT Madras, Kanpur and Rudki, all of them are at par with any of the new IMs or baby IMs. Okay, so now this is what I want from you. Is is IIT good or I am good? This you have to tell me. Of course, sir, please don't compare any call with ABC. ABC are compared to Kifarini. But I want that answer from you. I am Lakhanau, Koikot, Indore. Visa is IIT Delhi and IIT Bombay and new IIMs are baby IIMs versus IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur, IIT Rurki where you place them. I will bet on IIT majorly because the uh, ROI thing all of them have a very good ROI but of course if you go by the name no one can beat IIM ka brand name. So brand name wise of course IIM will be there but ROI wise IIT Bombay is there right on the top next to them. Yeah, so if you want to say better or easy, but at least they are comparable for sure. All the rest.